Hi you guys, how you doing today? Um, I've been trying to do consistent vlogs. Um, I haven't washed my makeup off yet. And I'm basically trying to get ready for bed. Um, I got to do a sleep study tonight. Um, because I might have sleep apnea. Um, because I've been feeling really tired when I wake up in the morning and I just, you know, sometimes I wake up with a headache and things like that. And these are some of the signs that, um, says that you may have sleep apnea. So I have to do a study tonight when I go to sleep. I have some tubes that I got to put into my nose and let me go get the, the kit so you can see it. One second. Okay, I'm back. So the sleep study comes in this little kit. And um, I really need to lose some weight. That's what I need to do. And then I wouldn't have to do stuff like this. They made me sign a contract saying that I will bring the product back. Um, so... It looks crazy, but this is the sleep study kit that I would receive from my doctor's office. Um, this part is a part that's going to go in my nose and in my mouth. You see? I don't know if you can see it that well. But this part, it goes like this. In the nose and in the mouth behind the ears. I don't know how I'm going to sleep with that tonight, but I guess I'm going to have to deal. But that's what I have to do tonight. I also have to put this thing on my finger, and I guess it's going to monitor me while I sleep. Don't ask me how it's going to stay. It's going to be difficult because I'm supposed to put this around my finger. And then hold it on somehow with this thing around it. I don't know. It doesn't even stick to itself. So let's see. Oh, yeah, it does. So basically what I'll do, what I would do is hold this tab and this, like this, I guess. I don't know. I have to read the instruction on how to put this on. But then, the big guy within the kit is this right here. And so basically, I have to put this belt with this around me. And I believe this goes here like this and the belt goes around my chest. And I got to sleep with this stuff on me tonight. Yeah. It's a lot, but uh, hey... What can I say? I'm fat. And I need to lose some weight. Until then, this is the things that I have to go through. Hopefully, this is just would be the worst. And I wouldn't have to go through anything major worse than this, like insulin shots and, you know, stuff like that. I definitely need to, need to lose weight. Last year, I was 40 pounds lighter and I felt amazing. This year, I think I might have gained back the 40 pounds. It looks like it. And I'm not happy. But what can I do about it? Um, okay, so back to what we was talking about. I have that sleep study to do tonight. Another thing that I want to touch on is depression. I've been really depressed. And I'm the type of person, I don't like people to worry about me. So, I like to play off my issues or problems or whatever stressing me out i like to play it off and act like everything is okay but i've really been um battling depression you know um right now i'm not working i'm looking for a job and it's kind of making me depressed you know because in the past whenever i've been without a job it took took no time at all for me to find one and i don't think that it's because my my grind isn't the same. It's the same. 
you know, um, but I just feel like it's a little harder. Um, and then sometimes I think that maybe it's the universe telling me that I need to do something new with my life. And if that's the case, I mean, let me have it easy and not the hard way. But anything worth having is worth the, it's hard to get. I think that's how it goes. But anyways, yeah, so Thanksgiving is coming. Um, my mom is getting better. Oh, update on the mother. Um, so she's not supposed to drive and she's supposed to be taking it easy for a month. But my mom can't take it easy. And so she went to work yesterday and fell. Mm -hmm. A week after surgery, she fell. Um, and I told her to make sure when she goes see her doctor today, she tells him that she fell. And she says that she, she will. She will tell him. So he... Uh, that happened and that's just about it um but i'm definitely gonna apply to other jobs i did apply to mvp but they never did get back to me with a response letting me know if they chose another candidate or if my um background check came back or not um or anything i haven't heard anything back from them and it's disappointing because I thought that they would, you know, but they did. But it's fine. Um, on to the next one. So now I'm going to apply to a couple other jobs and see how that works out from there. But other than that, um, I've been trying to keep myself from being overly depressed. I have a trip to go to the day after Thanksgiving. I'm supposed to be going to New York City to go pick up my husband. And I do have some, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like, sometimes I feel like, is it worth being in a relationship or not? Because I'm just so... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth being in a relationship. I don't know if it's worth all the work and all the heartache and everything like that if I don't completely and 100% trust somebody. And I don't, I can say that. I don't want to not say anything, but I just don't trust him 100%. I don't know when he's going to go off. You know, I don't know what mood he's going to be in. I'm always on eggshells, and I just don't want to be like that anymore. Um, I love him, and I want to be with him, and I wish that he would be the type of man that I want him to be when it comes to um, family, his family, you know, because he mainly thinks about his brother and, you know, his sister and stuff, and that's fine, but you have a family with me now. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to continue to um, act as if I'm secondary? Or am I your family? It's one or the other. So, sometimes I feel like I am secondary. And I try not to. And I try not to give it any energy. But he doesn't make me feel any better about it, you know? So, <sighs> that's what I be going through with him. Um, but I'm, I'm trying not to give it any negative energy. I'm trying to be positive about the whole thing. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, I work at the salon part-time. So don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm sitting around and doing anything. I have a part-time job. But I wish I had a full-time job. So um, that's what I be doing. Right now, my Shopify, I haven't really been doing much with it because I just, you know, I'm, I just don't know what to put in there. I don't know what people are looking to buy. Um, I just don't know. And then, you know, the money that you make basically goes back to Amazon or eBay because they charge you monthly or however they do, but they charge you 
for stuff. So there's an additional fee on the fee that you, you sell. They charge you for your own product, not to use their service. They charge you for their service and they charge you for your product. So I'm not even thinking about doing that at the moment. If I do have a website, I just want people to come directly to the website and I'm not trying to go through a third party, point blank. Um, until I figure out how, how to do that, I'm not selling anything, especially on Amazon or on eBay. But, um, yeah. So, we'll see what happens from then. Um, I was doing hair. This is hair that I was selling. Um, people are so cheap that they rather go and buy crap, you know, and they don't want to pay for good hair. But this is really, 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 really good hair. I colored it because it came in like a mouse brown, which I don't like at all. The mouse brown color, it came in a mouse brown color, and I'm not feeling it. Now, I am natural. So, yes, if you can tell, this part of my hair is not as laid as it would be if I had a relaxer, but... It doesn't look bad at all. And secondly, I have hair, you know, um, it might not be as much as other people, but, you know, it's enough to cover a track. And that's what I did. I, I covered my track with some hair, which is mine. And it's not that short either. So I've been growing it out. I've been going and getting regular trims. Now, ladies and gents. A lot of times people like to say, oh, I'm growing my hair, don't cut it. But that's the best thing you could do is to cut your hair and you'll see how fast it grows. Your hair actually grows faster when you cut it than when you don't cut it. Um, talking about hair, I decided that I was going to actually start taking you guys with me to work. And if I have a customer that agrees to allow me to... Um, video record the session i would definitely do that but i have to find somebody that's willing to allow me to do um video record the recession from the beginning to the end but um yes so that is my update so far and i hope to come back and i hope that you guys comment like and subscribe to my channel it's something a little bit different. I'm recording on my cell phone right now. I don't know where this um, journey is going to take me, but I definitely want to touch in on, to, on a lot of things that we all go through, but we might not necessarily think that anybody else is going through it with us, but everybody's going through something. And you'll be surprised how similar that something is to your own issue that you're going through at the moment. Um... Touching back on depression, um, I have anxiety, okay? And I feel like my anxiety comes out in a crazy way because it when I get when I have anxiety, I feel like I'm going to literally die. Okay. I feel like my heart is gonna stop. I won't be able to breathe anymore. I literally have to scream out and cry to get over the feeling that I get when I'm having anxiety. So yes, I do. Um, the way that I manage my anxiety, I manage it by doing breathing. I breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. When I'm holding my breath, breathe out. I count to five as I breathe in, breathe in. Count. I hold. And then I come out slowly. Breathe in. Hold my breath. Breathe out. And that's how um, I was told by my therapist. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I had a therapist. Now, I think a, the reason why a lot of people, especially black people, don't have therapy is because of this one reason that I'm about to bring up. I had a therapist, someone that I felt comfortable with, um, telling all my business, crying, showing my ugly faces and things like that. I had a therapist, but my therapist decided to take another job, which I can't be mad at her. She's trying to get her coins, okay? So I can't be mad at that, 
that. But, you know, it just left me in a really bad place. I didn't know how to deal with the fact that I won't be able to go back and talk to this person anymore. And it really messed up. I, at that time, I was on FMLA at my job because of my anxiety. And I couldn't function. You know what I'm saying? And I, I actually hunted her down. <laughs> After the doctor's office told me that she doesn't work with them anymore and they have no way of finding out where she works so I can call her and be her client again, I found her. I hunt her down. Yes, I'm crazy. And, you know, I talked to her about the fact that I really want her to continue working with me. But she told me that she's going to go on, on a different route. She's going to be a director at a hospital. And, you know, I can't blame her for that. Um, who I do blame is my doctor's office because she was gone for three months and I had no idea that this woman was gone. Um, they didn't send me, they didn't give me the referrals that she gave for us to, uh, for them to give me so I can find somebody else to treat me. Nothing. Okay. Um, then they were acting like I was crazy because the reason why I had to go back in there is because whenever you have FMLA, you have to recertify. And I sent in papers to be recertified, and it wasn't done. And they gave me the runaround, not telling me that the doctor that did my certification for me was gone. So that gave me a lot of stress and anxiety. I actually left the job that I was at based on that because I just couldn't deal with that job and not have anybody to talk to. Like, I was losing my mind, literally. And you could tell that I was losing my mind because I done left a job that I had. Okay, yes. And I didn't have anybody that I can basically talk to about it and, and, and talk some sense into me. You know, yes, I have friends and family, but my friends and family, sometimes I don't want to talk to them about certain things. I want to talk to somebody else about it so that when I'm done, that person, me and that person is not going to get in an argument. They're not going to throw something up in my face that I probably told them in secrecy or in a trusting way, knowing not knowing that I cannot trust that person. You know what I mean? With saying all of that, I do have to look for another therapist, someone that I can go and talk to every once in a while. Um, I want to get a therapist that's going to be a family therapist, somebody that myself and my husband to go could go see together and even if it's not somebody that we could go see together um maybe they have a practice and they have a partner that i could go see and my husband could go see separately that would be fine too but he won't go <laughs> that's the problem i want help i want help to stay in this marriage i want to be able to work with him in, in, in different ways because I, he has issues and I have issues as well and I just want us to be able to um, be able to talk our problems out instead of him getting upset and he threatens to leave me all the time so I definitely don't feel secure in our relationship and it, it puts up a block it makes me not even try to go further not even better the relationship it just doesn't give me any type of um, security and that's what I need when when it comes to a relationship I need to feel secure in a relationship every, every woman needs to feel secure in the relationship that they're in but um there's times when I don't want to get out of bed you know and it's times when I just want to say you know fuck it I'm done that's fine you don't have to be with me but I'm done you know what I'm saying so yeah Anyways, I'm looking at the corner. I'm looking at something. I'm not just um, staring off into space like a crazy person. But this was a long video, and I've been chatting and giving you all of my information, telling you all my business. Um, I'm going to say it again. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And if there's any other type of content that you want to see, like I said, that I'm willing to take um, this to the salon so that you guys can see what I do and how I do my job, or um, I'm thinking about how I do my makeup, even though I'm my makeup is very minimal, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to make it very natural. Um, I do go to, into Sephora every morning when I go to work, and I get my face ready for the salon. I know that's crazy. That's me being cheap. 
that's what that is. I don't want to buy any makeup. And I figure if I can use the makeup at work and look cute at work, uh, hello. And I don't have to have none to be home because I really don't wear makeup when I'm home. And my husband doesn't like it anyways. So that's what I'm at. And then I feel like makeup kind of ruins your skin. It gives you dark circles around your eyes. And, you know, it blocks your pores. It changes your complexion. It'd be like three, four, five different uh uh, complexions on there so you know i um I'm, i try not to um i know that around my mouth i have like a light shade that comes about every winter because the weather's changed and so my change my skin changes with the weather but um with that being said please like comment and subscribe i'm gone for real this time you guys have a wonderful night a wonderful thanksgiving and a safe weekend and you guys be safe out there with all this sex trafficking going on it's a mess okay be safe and make sure that you are aware of your surroundings and even if you have to carry a weapon carry a weapon but ain't nobody taking my black ass without me taking something with me that belongs to them like maybe their life possibly anyways you guys have a wonderful weekend and i i hope to see you guys and talk to you guys again soon very very soon while i'm away in new york city i will be vlogging there might not be any um sound to the videos but i'm gonna just show you guys what i did while i'm away um in new york city visiting my husband and his fam um i'm leaving the night after thanksgiving um, around 4 o'clock in the morning, I believe I'll be waking up to go on this trip. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.